It's the start of our Polly showcase. And let's start with a big boy, shall we? This is a Polly's double IPA. It is called a cappella and it's at 8%. But what's it gonna be like? Let's get ready to rock. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Nearly forgot which channel we were on then. Um, today we're going to be reviewing this beer. It is an absolutely stunning can. It's a double IPA from Polly's. It's called Acapella and it is coming in at a whopping 8% ABV. Now, it's the first video for Polly's. Just to give you a little bit of introduction of what we're going to do. We're going to be drinking seven beers from Polly's. I've got seven different beers. Some of them are double IPA. Some of them are IPA. Some of them are pale ales. Uh, all of them are different. All of them got stu a stunning looking cans. I mean, this one here is, a, you can see it's like a sort of a space themed, you know, it's like the night sky, the Milky Way. I'm not sure, but we're a nice sort of purple sort of hue on that. It looks absolutely stunning with the obviously nice and simple Polly's logo there. I'm going to put it down because it's quite heavy in my hand. Um, but today we're going to be reviewing this one. But over the course of uh, uh, seven different videos, we're going to be reviewing different Polly's. And really it's, it's about showcasing. I, I love Polly's beer. I've had quite a few different ones. And the big thing about Polly's, and I've been on their website today, uh, every single week they are releasing a new Polly's. So they don't really have what I would call a core range, uh, but they basically brew new beers every week small batches, fresh beer, um, and they call them different names, different can artwork, um, sometimes they do parallel, sometimes IPA, sometimes double IPA. Some weeks they will do two or three different beers. Um, they've got West Coast IPAs as well. They've got the whole selection. The only thing that I've never seen Polly's do is stouts. I don't think they do any stouts. Maybe that will change over the course of uh, of the next year or so. You never you never know. Um, but they're pretty small operation. Um, they're based in Mould, which is in North Wales. It's literally just over the border from me here in Chester. Um, not far away at all. It's basically part of an old farmhouse they don't have their own tap room they're not a massive brewery they're a very small brewery but you know we're in lockdown and we all want to help small independent breweries so you know buy a Polly's beer you know help these small businesses out they're obviously going to you know have are they going to be selling as many beers now obviously the 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 pubs that there's certain pubs that buy in their stuff they have you know you can there are some pubs certainly around here i've seen polly's beer on tap but obviously if they're closed they're not going to be ordering as many in so support your local brewery my one is polly's so we're going to start here with this beer and this is a double ipa so it's coming at eight percent um, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drink the beer, I'm going to give you some, you know, tell you a bit about it, what it smells like, what it tastes like, the usual sort of stuff. But what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to score it on each individual video. I'm going to have a video um, at the end, which will sort of be a summary of what we've drank over these seven, the seven uh, different beers. And obviously within that, I'm going to score them and rank them in terms of the best to the last. So I've rabbited on enough. I've got now I've been talking for a few about three or four minutes. I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna get this beer out of the can and into the glass. Double IPA, eight percent. Opens up, it's pretty quiet, you know. Sometimes you get a big whoosh, but I think this is gonna be fairly low in carbonation. Let's get the pour out there. So, beer in a glass. It's yellow, it's custardy, it's got, we've got a one finger tightly compacted, sort of a sort of yellowy white head. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, already, I'm not putting it near me, and this is one of the big characteristics of Polly's. I could already smell fruit, and it's, I mean, I'm, I'm not putting it by my nose yet, but I can already smell pineapple, and I'm sure this is gonna be a big, big sort of aroma. Oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous, it's, I mean, it's it's a real sort of fruit cocktail, really. You got mango and pineapple that are massive. There's grapefruit in there. There's citrus, lemons, and limes. You know, you've got a bit of passion fruit, papaya. There's it's a big fruit cocktail. So it, it it smells absolutely stunning. Really, really fresh. Doesn't smell sort of like the fruit smells are not artificial. They smell really fresh, really clean. It's got a real clean sort of aroma. 
and it basically does what any good beer does where in terms of its aroma it makes the senses start working and one of those big senses is the taste and already i can feel my my taste buds tingling so without further ado cheers everyone First things, it's very, very soft. It's got a lovely, creamy sort of mouthfeel. There's obviously a lot of oats and that that's gone into this. Real fruity mango pineapple, massive in there. Then he sort of goes way to a sort of a, a lime, sort of limey, sort of lime, lemon, lime taste. There's absolutely no bitterness. And sometimes when you look at a double IPA at sitting in at 8%, you're thinking it's going to be a little bit of warmth or, you know, a little bit of hot burn in there. Nothing like that. It is so mellow. It's so, it doesn't taste like an 8%. It just tastes like basically a fruit cocktail. It's really, really smooth. I mean, as I said, carbonation is really low. Lovely soft mouthfeel. You could, I mean, I'm, I'm drinking this down pretty quickly. For a, for a double IPA, that's a dangerous thing, 8%. But you can't taste any of that 8% in this. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, look at the beer. It, it, looks, it looks good. It smells good. It's just got a really, it just tastes, um, and I bet, you know, I'm, there's a lot of superlatives I'm saying about this beer, but you get that mango and pineapple, you know, in it, and it combine really, really well. There is no hint of that eight percent. You know, it, it doesn't drink like an eight percent at all. And there's no hot burn. There's no alcohol burn or anything like that. There is absolutely no bitterness at all. You've got a slight sort of pink grapefruit on the back end, really, but within that, there's no bitterness in there. It's not overly sort of sharp or anything like that it's just it just really nice and it does coat your tongue a little bit like a good double ipa does i mean you compare this with some of the double ipas that we've had recently the supermarket well, there's good some good ones in the supermarkets but it's night and day with this one it's so smooth it just it's just a perfect double ipa and i'd almost go as far to say this is the best I, I, double ipa i've tasted we have another double IPA in the Polly's range, so I'll be interested to see how that compares with this one. But this is a stunner, absolutely. It's just the fact that I'm drinking it down so quickly. Let's see what makes this beer so great. So, in terms of the hops, it's got Columbus, it's got El Dorado, it's got Mosaic, and it's got Simcoe in it. Obviously, there are oats as well, and it's give it that sort of, you know, that haziness and that sort of really nice, creamy mouthfeel. This is the can. You see this one, a cappella. Beautiful looking can, you can't miss it. 8%, don't think, oh, 8%, it's gonna be rocker, that's too strong for me. I can't drink that, it's far too strong, you know? And if you think of those strong beers that you may have had in the past and they're really harsh and bitter and, you know, not pleasant at all. This does not drink like an 8% ABV beer. It's a stunning beer and it is an incredibly good start for the Polly's uh, showcase for this month. I would definitely recommend it. I'm looking forward to sitting down now, doing the scores, and then seeing how it works out with all the other pollies that we've got this month. So until the next one, you know what you need to do. Drink this and keep on rocking.